Hello, my friends. It's Becky. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Where on my channel, I am going through my good midlife crisis, journeying through my 40s, working oh so hard to get my poop in a group. In order to do this, I have been working on my physical, my financial, and my mental health. And welcome back to another financial health journey. Today is Friday, October the 6th, and we are going to be budgeting out the money that you see on the screen right above my head, the $363.97. What this is is just a rollover from last week's paycheck. I did finally remember to submit my AFLAC claims. Only one of them paid. There was a little bit of a mix-up with the other one. They are reprocessing it, so this is just one of my claims. The other one will hopefully be submitted, um, will be paid this next coming week. We'll see, it's the smaller claim. Um, and uh, then like, seriously, 11 cents, y'all, in interest on my checking account. What, I'm a high roller. Uh, but whatever, I'll take it, it's 11 cents. And then less than a dollar of cash back on one of my cards. Uh, uh, like, when I went to the, there's a whole thing at the grocery store this weekend. Uh, I went and I had, Nathan gave me his debit card because he was at a movie with a friend. And so he's like, here, just take my debit card and split it. But he also wanted to get a Powerball ticket. And I never buy lottery tickets like ever. So I didn't realize that you had to do a pin to get the Powerball tickets. And I was trying to use the debit card like as a credit card. And he'd given me his pin because I guess he knew that. But I used I actually we use the same credit union and our cards are different but I didn't realize like I just grabbed my debit card because they look very similar and I was trying to put his pin in on my credit card and then I mean on my debit card and there was this whole it was just a thing and I messed it up and ended up just using both like my debit card to pay for my half of the groceries and his debit card to pay for his half of the groceries that was a whole long story to say I didn't use my credit card to pay for my groceries like I normally do, so there's a lot less cash back than there normally would be on my credit card. Um, so it was like 93 cents or something on my credit card instead of the normal like 3 or $4. Um, though even that feels like I don't normally buy that many groceries. Maybe it's because I cut down on groceries so much, y'all. What did I spend even on groceries this week? I feel like... I think I only spent like $60 on groceries and that came off of my debit card. I've definitely cut back on groceries. I've definitely cut back on dining out. I think my low spend September is like ro rolling off, rubbing off on me, rolling into October. I was trying to say both of those things at the same time and it came off like I didn't know what I was saying. Um, sorry, I'm very, very tired and I need my coffee. Okay, let's get started. I don't actually have a lot to budget somehow. This week, zero bills. Don't know how that happened. There's a couple of months this year that I have no bills to uh, pay, and I'm happy with that. This budget, I was super excited because it was actually positive last night, even into my second week for the second time in a row, but then I like paid all my bills, like paid off all my cards, and it went to negative 0.2 days of buffering. So you know what? I'm still okay with that. I'm still okay with that and I'm still at a positive 21 days of age of money so I'm headed in the right direction because I don't get a paycheck this week I don't get a paycheck till next week so I'm still doing okay y'all so I was planning to only roll over $260 I'm rolling over $363 a big chunk of that is because of my Aflac inflow but whatever I knew that was coming that is something that I do every year um what Aflac is for those of you who are not familiar it's a supplemental plan I pay through my employer for the accident plan through the for the hospital plan and then I think there's a third I can't even remember what my third plan is and then there's a cancer policy that I used to have through a previous employer but my current employer does not offer it um so I am paying for that one privately it does make it a little bit more expensive but if you've ever looked into it or if you haven't um it's a really good security thing you can keep it for the life my my plan will never go up I think it's $37 a month is what I pay. I just paid it this past week, so I should know. $37.57 a month I pay. So it's not the cheapest thing, but it covers myself and my niece. My niece until she's 26. Actually, this is just the price for me, and my niece is included for free because she was my dependent when I signed up for this policy. And I don't know all of the benefits, but I highly recommend you look into it. 
especially myself as a former smoker. I smoked for 11 years. I've been quit for almost 10 years now, but I did smoke for 11 years. Um, and so that puts me at a slightly higher risk, probably a much higher risk. I don't actually know the numbers um, for for cancers and stuff. But uh, if you do an annual screening, you just tell them you did it and they send you $75 every year off the bat, which doesn't pay for the policy. It did pay for the policy when I was going through my employer. It does not pay for the policy now that I pay for it on my own. Um, but, well, it almost paid for it. But then if you ever get a cancer diagnosis, there's a lump sum payout automatically. I mean, you obviously have to submit documentation that you have. They don't just say, like, oh, okay, here's here's thousands of dollars because you say so. But in America, especially in the United States of America, cancer diagnoses are basically almost a guarantee of bankruptcy for American citizens. You, you just can't afford them. You can't work most of the time if you have like a serious diagnosis. Um, not that any, I mean, obviously any cancer diagnosis is a seri serious diagnosis, but thankfully medicine has come a long way and there are some that can just be treated pretty, you know, standardly. Um, but, you know, if you have one of the, I don't want to say one of the bad ones because I wouldn't want any cancer diagnosis, but I hope you all know what I'm trying to say. There are some, if I had to have a cancer diagnosis, there are some that I would prefer over others. But there are the, the ones that you can't work. There's nothing you can do. You have to travel to somewhere like MD Anderson for treatments regularly. Um, your family would have to take off to spend time with you, to travel with you because you wouldn't be able to travel on your own. The medicines are prohibitively expensive and you can't afford them. Aflac doesn't pay your doctor. They don't pay the pharmacy. They don't pay the uh, the hotel. They pay you. So your insurance would still pay for whatever your insurance was going to pay or not pay for, depending on your policy. Uh, but then this would be, you would get reimbursed. They reimburse you for travel. They reimburse your, your family member, your friend for their travel. They reimburse you for your hotels. They reimburse you for Anything that you have to do, you just say, I was at MD Anderson from this day to this day. I stayed in a hotel and they give you the, they give you the money. I was in the hospital for these, this many days. These are the days I had radiation. These are the days I had chemo. And for, and there's so much per day for whatever treatment you had, for however many miles you had to travel for the hotel you had to stay in, they reimburse you for that. And it's a set amount per day for whatever it is. And there's, it's absolutely a good security blanket. Um, and this is not to your insurance company. This is to you. You don't have to use this money to pay your hospital bills. You use this money to pay your mortgage. You use this money to, uh, to pay your, uh, your car payment, to pay your credit card bills. You use this money to pay. This is your money. This is not insurance money. You can use it to pay your hospital bills, obviously, but it, it goes into your account. It does not go to your your um doctors so anyway it's i don't work for aflac i am not affiliated with them in any way this is just me telling you why i pay 40 dollars a month for this policy because i feel like it is worth it um and like i said they cover your dependents for free until they are 26 so if you have children um or dependents like my niece was my dependent at the time because my sister passed away and she was living with me um so even though she is now 22 because she was living with me when i signed up for this she uh she was automatically covered under my policy so she's still covered for another four years under this policy so hopefully neither of us ever need it but it's something i'm thankful i have so anyway that was a whole long spiel Every year I go for my uh, my mammogram or my pap, whichever one. I mean, you can't claim both, but you can claim either. Um, or whatever cancer screening you do. If you, you submit a you submit an online claim saying I had my cancer screening this year, they send you $75 saying, thanks for getting your cancer screening. Here's $75. Hi, guys. If you're new, I'm Becky. I talk a lot. I'm so glad you're here, though. So... Let's let's go ahead and talk about this. Good thing I have no bills to budget because I'm going to talk about other stuff. Also, I am almost a full week into my eat at home. 
Uh, the month started on Sunday. I have not eaten out yet. I did go to a movie on Tuesday night, went and saw The Creator, which was, it was a really good movie. That was pretty intense, but I liked it. Um, I kind of liked that movie. I wanted, I've been wanting to see it for a while. I just didn't know it had come out. Like, it just kind of snuck in. Um, but then I was watching Jennifer Bleacher over on Life and Envelopes, and, uh, she's, she and her son had gone to see it, and I was like, oh, I didn't know that came out. So, Tuesdays are the cheap day at Cinemark, so Nathan and I went and watched it, and uh, I got some popcorn. It's That was Tuesday. It's Friday. I still have half that bag of popcorn, so I did not eat very much of the popcorn, and I don't count that as dining out. Um, I never have counted popcorn like, at a movie as dining out. I've always taken it out of my fun money, um, and so I didn't count it as dining out. I'm still saying I haven't eaten out yet because I didn't eat dinner before I went. All right, y'all. But anyway, I'm I'm six days in. I'm going to say I'm five days in because I haven't eaten yet today. I'm five days in and I haven't eaten out yet. I did put in my health journey check-in that I posted on Wednesday, Monday. I posted on Monday the video of me um, making my biscuits and gravy. Um, I tried to make the egg bites. They did not come out. I think something was wrong with my cream cheese. Either that or that's what it's supposed to look like. And I... Don't know. I'm going to try them again this weekend. And then at the end of this video, there's going to be me making the lasagna. So make sure you stick around um, because that's going to be right after the budget. If we ever get to the budget, which we will right now. Here comes the budget. The only things that we have to do are the four that I do every single week. I have to put in my $50 for dining out, which I still have $26.50. Because even though I haven't eaten out this month, Last Friday, oh my goodness, y'all, I am so sorry for last Friday's video. My bra I was so frustrated at this software. And I'm just now realizing that y'all can't see my screen because I still haven't paused because I am still on this. I can't see me. I still can't see me. I have determined after a week of trying this that I, I there is this software does not allow me to see my screen while I am recording. Like I can see my screen, I can't see me. So give me one second, I'm gonna shrink myself into the corner. I'm gonna be right back. Figure out how to pause. Okay, I'm back. So that was really, really frustrating last week. I was already having a stressful day. <laughs> I was already having a stressful like couple of days. And then it just kind of like shut my brain down. Like my brain just was like, nope, not going to do it. And then when I came in here and I was trying to find my first category and I got here and something had gotten moved. I can't even remember which, but one of my bills had gotten moved up on top of dining out. And my brain was just like, nope. Like, I think if you watched that video last week, you'll just see my brain just like, like the loading screen was on. And I was just like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. And then I watched that video and I was like, oh my goodness, I hope this isn't the first video somebody's watching and they think I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. Because I promise y'all, I do know what I'm doing most of the time. But Friday, you ever have one of those days where your brain is just like, no, I'm not functioning today. That was my Friday for me. And it started off because this, this software just got me so frustrated. I'm not even kidding. Like, I think I told y'all, like, Nathan walked in and asked me, are you okay? And I was like, I I can't talk to you right now. I'm going to cry if I talk. And he turned around and went and bought me coffee because, like, and he's literally, I've lived with this man for over nine years, almost 10 years. He has literally never done that. Never once has he ever walked out the door and got and got me coffee because I was so upset. Like, that's how Friday was for me. So I am sorry that that video was such a mess, but thank you so much to all of you who stuck around and watched that and commented. I have seen your comments. I know I haven't responded to them. I should be able to do that this weekend. I think I'm going to my besties tonight. I think that's the plan. I haven't actually confirmed. We talked about it like on Monday, um, but I think that's my plan. So tonight I will probably eat out. Um, well, I will eat at her house, but I will eat food that was prepared at a restaurant, um, I think. But anyway... Thank you for sticking with me. Friday was awful. But uh, this week, that whole weekend, this whole weekend was just a... Uh, I'm looking forward to this weekend. I have therapy tomorrow morning. That should set my mindset. And then I'm just going to relax, work on some videos. Just take it easy. That's my plan. So let's budget the five things. We only have five things. 
And then maybe, maybe I can get this video down to only like 30 minutes. Oh, plus like 15 minutes of the um, lasagna. I edited that whole lasagna thing down. It's only 15 minutes total for the lasagna. So um, hopefully it's not too long. I understand if you don't want to watch the whole thing, but I did cut out a big chunk of it. I sped it up. I put some music in there. Hopefully it's okay. Uh, but that lasagna seriously is the best lasagna I've ever had. Like, honestly, it's so good. Um, it's so good. I've been eating it all week and I, I love it. So anyway, yes, $50 to dining out. Oh, and that's what I was saying. So that Friday I went and I had my nachos and I'm sorry, no, sir, um, I don't, I will try to stop talking about nachos so much, but they are so good. Um, but I'll try to stop. I was, I was in my car well, I wasn't in my car. I was in my friend's car. I was in the back seat. When you, when I read your comment about stop talking about nachos, and I just started cracking up. And they were like, "Are you okay?" And I was like, "Yep, I needed that laugh right now." So thank you. Also, I'm sorry. I am sorry, but I love them. A uh, hundred dollars to groceries. I still had thirty-one dollars in there, so hopefully we're good. I'm gonna try to do like I did last month, and if there's anything left in these categories at the end of the week, leave it in here and then move it to another category at the end of the month. See if I can do that just going forward. Um, but again, that no that low spend was just my challenge for September. So there is gonna be whamming, which is whack and roll. It's it's wine ab speak which is this software, um, for just rolling with the punches, moving money around if I need to move it to another category to cover, um, I will. For example, I'm going out of town for the weekend of the 21st. If I need to move some of this money into my gas budget to cover gas, if I go over, I will do that. Um, I don't know that I will. I don't anticipate that happening. But if I do, I will. But if I'm able to leave it here until the end of the month and then roll that into my emergency fund, that would be my ultimate goal. Um, because like I said, this eat at home challenge is my, it's a health challenge. I am trying to do this because I feel like it's going to be healthier for me. As I mentioned, I noticed when I was doing my low spend September that I actually lost more weight in September than I had all summer. And I don't know if that is because I was eating at home more. And so I wanted to try to eat at home in October um, not because I want to save money, though that would be a nice side effect, um, but because I want to try to lose weight. So we'll see. Um, $20 to fund money. I mean, sorry, $10 to fund money. And then I'm going to put, I have, so last Sunday, like I said, last weekend was all kinds of stuff happening in my life. I'm not going to go into any details, but I did not actually end up going to an in-person church on Sunday. I zoomed into a church on Sunday. So even though I had already drawn out cash, I had was planning to go into my mom's church, so I had picked up some food to take with me, which I still have. Um, it's it was froze, it was ice cream, so it's in my freezer. I'll take it next time I go in there. Um, so I'll still leave that as as budgeted, but I'd only taken twenty dollars out in cash, so I'm only going to put forty dollars in here. Um, I'm going to count the twenty dollars I already took out. I'm going to have that. I'm going to take twenty dollars out in cash this week. That'll be my forty dollar donation, and then the other twenty dollars will be if we go out for a meal afterwards. I don't know if we will. So instead of sixty, I'm only going to put forty in this week, and that's it for my four budget categories that I do every week. And the only other thing I have to do is my passport. I was saving my Find Me Gluten Free for this week simply because I ran out of lines to do it last week. But then that actually did renew last week, so I went ahead and uh, filled it anyway. Uh, I just put it as a bill instead of in my sinking fund lines. That's my one complaint about the Budget Mom Budget by Paycheck book, is there are not enough lines for all my sinking funds. I need this many lines for sinking funds, not this many lines. So I ended up, if you look at my last week, I needed like two more lines for sinking funds. So I put my Find Me gluten-free over here and filled it. Um, so I don't need to put anything in there. I just need to fill my passport, which is only $1.84. I put $1.84 a month, which I need to find. And yes, somebody told me, reminded me, because I did actually used to know that you could search um, for passport for like the category you're looking for. But... uh. I forgot. Uh, and then I broke it right now. That just happened. 
This has never happened to me before, but I do love their loading screens. I haven't searched since I did any of their updates. I'm just going to do this and figure that out later when I'm not. Nobody's watching me. Passport is... It's right here. I know it's right here. It's right here. It's right here in front of my face. In your face. A dollar seventy-seven a month is what I put away. Um, and that's it. Y'all, that's all I have. So I am rolling over $162.20 into next week, which is going to be week three of October. And that makes me kind of want to, ugh, 162.20. If I could type 20, wise, wise, 162.20. And that's it. Why did that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Please don't be last week. Please don't be last week, Becky. There we go. 162.20. That gives me $162.20 toward my next week's budget um, that I will get paid. I should. I hope I should get paid next Friday. Um, and I think, do I get, yeah, I get paid next Friday and I don't think I have any other income. Maybe Seth. Yeah, Seth should pay me as well. So next week when you come back, I should have this $162. I should have a paycheck. And then my friend Seth that pays for the second car that I have financed in my name, um, he should pay me as well. So we will have all of that money to budget out. I will have bills. And YNAB is the software that you see on the screen. And if you are interested in trying that out, there is a link in my description box below that will get you six, no, 34 days for free. Um, and then if you like it and you've decided to sign up for it, you will get an additional 30 days for free if you've used my link. So you get 64 days for free. And then as a thank you, YNAB gives me 30 days for free as well. Um, somebody did sign up using my link this weekend. So thank you so much to all of you who have done that. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, it helps me out because, again, the 30 days for free is that's 30 days that I don't have to pay for. And I really appreciate that. But it also is 30 days you don't have to pay for. So helps everybody out. Everybody is getting a budget. Everybody is getting free YNAB and it's the best way to go. I'm going to cut it off here. Um, it's only 742. So for me, that's a really good day. I know I've been talking a while, but I also know that there is a delicious lasagna in your future. And I really hope that you enjoy this. Um, let me know how your week is going, how your October is going. And if you're joining me on this eat at home October challenge, I know a couple of people have said they are. Also, don't forget to check out my Kay, my friend Kay's channel. She is doing this October challenge with me. It was actually her video about getting her kitchen cleaned up. That uh, inspired me to do this. So I will link that video and her channel below. Um, and I hope y'all are having a fantastic weekend. It is finally, finally cool here. It's only in the 60s. I'm in Central Texas, in case you're not familiar with me. I'm like in one of the suburbs of Austin. Um, so it was like in the hundreds just last weekend, and it's only going to be in the 80s today. And I'm so excited about that. Wherever you are, 80s may feel hot, but to me that it's like fall finally. So I'm very excited about this weekend. I love you all so much. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're interested in following any of my journeys and uh, leave me a comment. Tell me how you're doing. I love you and I will talk to you all later. Bye. Hey guys, it's me again. We are back in my kitchen and we are going to be cooking up the lasagna and the egg bites. For sure we're going to do the lasagna right now. We're gonna come back and see if I can get the egg bites done all at the same time or if I come back and do them again. But I wanted to show you what I picked up yesterday. Ta-da, it's a ring light. Pay no attention to my messy, messy dining room table. Nathan is working on a project he is, he has taken apart and uh, is in the currently repairing and in the process of, well, he's in the process of repairing and then he will put back together a switch if he can fix it. Um, he doesn't know if he can fix it. He got the switch for $20 um, if he can fix it from a neighbor. If he can fix it, fantastic. If he can't fix it, it was $20. Um, so that's what that giant mess is. So we ignore that mess. We're hoping he can fix it quickly or decide he can't fix it quickly, but it's been like two weeks and my dining room table looks like that. And yes, it's driving me a little bit bonkers, but anyway, but I got a ring light, yay! And it's got a spot for a camera. Hang on, let me find it. I can actually mount my camera here so I can do like overhead shots. So that is my goal for this. I am going to, um, 
get out my ingredients and I'm gonna share these recipes with y'all. I'm gonna get out my ingredients, I'm going to uh, try to do all the handheld shots that I can and then I'm gonna mount this camera up there and like bend it down and do the overhead shots so that we can uh, we can get them and maybe I can actually like do vloggy stuff, y'all. Maybe we can do that. Also, I heard back from Kay this afternoon. She was out of town. She's going out of town for the second half of October, um, but she is in on this challenge. So um, Kay is going to be joining us on this challenge. Make sure you check out her channel, which is Kay's Tiny House Dreams. I will link it below. She is going to be joining us on this October challenge, which makes me super happy because it was her video that gave me the idea to do this Eat at Home challenge in the first place. I will link that video below um, where she was doing uh, her kitchen cleanup and talking about how she needs to eat more at home. And I was like, hey, we should do that challenge. So I will link that video below. Um, but in the meantime, join me as I make a lasagna. This lasagna is the best lasagna I have ever had. The only modification that I am making to it is I am using gluten-free lasagna. Um, I am also not using the chunks of tomatoes in my tomato sauce because because I personally don't like them and Nathan doesn't like them either, so I'm not gonna put them in. But obviously, if you like them, use them. Um, that's the only difference in this that I am gonna be doing. Also, I don't think I'm putting the onion chunks. I'm just gonna use onion powder. Um, again, for the same reason, I don't like chunks of onion in my food and neither does Nathan. Um, we both like the flavor of onions in our food, just not the actual like chunks of onion. So everything else is gonna be exactly as the recipe calls for it. And um, yeah, okay, here we go with, uh, with what I'm gonna, I'm gonna gather all my ingredients and then I'm gonna start cooking. That didn't pause. Okay, let's try again. I'm still not pausing. I'm hitting the photo button. Okay, bye. Okay, here we go with the ingredients. And I was just kidding. I also forgot that I am replacing the uh, ground beef with ground turkey in this week's recipe just because I'm trying to lower my cholesterol. Um, that's part of this whole journey. And so I am doing turkey, but it should taste the same. Uh, so I am doing the gluten-free lasagna noodles. Mine are from Whole Foods. That's just because I have a friend who works there and she picked these up for me. But any noodles, any lasagna noodles will work. Mine are no boil, which will make this easier, but the recipe that I am going to share actually does tell you how to do this if you're boiling your noodles. So you need one egg, you need a pound of Italian sausage, um, I do the mild because that's my preference, and a pound of ground beef, ground turkey, ground chicken, I'm sure would also work. That's, I'm just doing ground turkey. Um, you need 16, no, 12 ounces of tomato paste. It calls for two six ounce cans. I am doing one 12 ounce can. It goes into the same pot, so it does not matter. Um, you need two six, two, what is it called? Two uh, 6.5 ounce cans of tomato sauce. I did a 15 ounce can. Um, so this is slightly more than it calls for, but that is fine. It's just gonna be slightly saucier. You need some minced garlic. You can either get some cloves and mince them. I always have this in my house, so I'm just going to use minced garlic. You need ricotta cheese. I think it needs 16 ounces. I can only buy 15 ounce things or like big old things, so I'm gonna do 15 ounces. These are all of the spices that it calls for. I just put them into a little ramekin um, and pre-measured them out so I don't have to do it when I am cooking. Uh, spoiler, this is actually a votive holder from Ikea that I bought a four pack of and I use them as ramekins. I use them to put like sauce in when I am eating and I want to dip food into it. I use it for measuring spices and things when I am cooking. They are the perfect size. They have never been used for candles. They've only ever been used for food and they are perfect for me. Then I need mozzarella cheese. I have a little bit of this package and then this big one, this new one, and then grated Parmesan. I don't use very much of this in it. And then we have some fresh Parmesan that I will grate on top when I serve it. And that is all I need. I am going to go get to my pan. Um, I cook it in a Dutch oven. That is what the recipe calls for, but you could of course just use a pot if you don't have a Dutch oven. So I'm gonna go get my Dutch oven and start cooking up my meat and my spices to make my meat sauce. And then we will start layering this and make my lasagna. Okay, y'all, I think I finally got this set up. Oh my goodness. I don't know how vloggers do this. Okay, this is hard. I am going to start cooking the sausage and the, oh my goodness, I took 
me so long to do this. Forgot I use my own stove. I'm gonna start cooking the sausage and the turkey. So I'm just gonna plunk it in here. That's my sausage and my turkey. And if this turns out like, because I made the, um, I don't know if, I don't know if this is all going to go in the same video or if I'm going to do different videos, but if this turns out like the, uh, sausage biscuits, like the biscuits and gravy that I made this morning, you won't be able to hear me talking over this cooking. So I may have to just like, uh, play some music or something over top of this, but this is my Italian sausage and this is my ground turkey. And I'll probably just like speed this up anyway, just because it's not very exciting to watch things cook, at least not for me. And this, because I did say this in my other one, but you couldn't hear me talking. This is my uh, like hamburger cooker from Pampered Chef and y'all, I love this thing.
Okay guys, the third one was a failure, but here is the lasagna and it does look amazing. It looks so good. This is out of the oven. The egg bites, uh, I think my cream cheese was no good and so that did not come out very well. That's gonna have to be a next week, but two out of three bad. So we got the biscuits and gravy uh, and the lasagna. So that's what I will have. And, and then I will use the sausage and the cheese that I shredded up to uh, just make my breakfasts this week. Maybe I'll make breakfast tacos or omelets or something with that. But lasagnas for my main meals and uh, I had biscuits and gravy this morning. So that's what I did this week. <laughs>